Hi guys and welcome to this segment where I talk about 3D printing. So today, um, is it weird that I want coffee this late? I just feel like it's a coffee. It's coffee time, you know. Can't help it. For some reason, I just feel all logy this evening. Um, just a little picker upper for me right now. But back to it. Yeah. So got into some 3D printing today. Finally got my 3D printer um, repaired and so I've been working on that for a while now and um, it keeps giving me some filament flow issue so I have I actually have several um, 3D printers in my arsenal that I'm working on um, one of which I used today was the XYZ printing uh, XYZ printer um, we also have a cube printer and a cube 2 printer um, that have been giving me some issues I'm, I'm not using those much right now but I um, finally got the XYZ to work so a little bit about 3D printing for us here um, in Punta Gorda or in Belize actually we started 3D printing about I think from 2014 to be exact and so it's been a couple of years um, we got in our first 3D printer to a guy Mr. Barry Calnan, um that was from 3D Printing Solutions out there in Texas so again just want to big, big him up and thank him again for starting us on the journey um, thereafter, we won a 3D printer in our Raspberry Pi competition um, in Belize City. And so that was where we won the big XYZ printer that you'll be seeing later on in the video. Um, apart from that, 3D printing is used for many different reasons. Educational purposes, you can see, um, it is used for, especially with our AutoCAD students. So our AutoCAD students can now create or draw stuff in 3D and take it to the printer for printing, right? So that's one main use um, that we have for it at the school where I teach. Um, apart from that, we use it to print small stuff that we want. For example, in our Raspberry Pi competition that we're going um, in in the next couple of weeks, um, I'm doing a lot of printing for the projects there. Um, the printer themselves uses a type of material called filament, which is like a plastic material. And if you think about how these 3D printers work, they work kind of like a glue gun where it goes layer by layer layer by layer until it fixes or gets the entire um, thing that you're printing out um, printed right um, so today I did a whole lot of printing and I just wanted to share with you guys the process um, that we went through for the printing so take a look at that and let me know what you think, you know, if you use a 3D printer also, let me know below. Let me know what's your favorite type of printer when it comes to 3D printing. Or have you done some 3D printing in at all? So, just let me know, right? Yeah? Yeah? What? Oh, you want to tell them? Nah, nah, come, 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 come. Tell them, so tell, them what you need to tell them, man. Let them know, yeah? You know, what's going on? Them. Yeah, what's going so, on here? If you notice, we got our new play t-shirt they would have right. seen it anyways of course right. i'm the breaking one you know want people to know we have the bubbly hey, t-shirt out of the box don't There's worry a lot more coming in the streamline he doesn't want to tell right. it but i'm going to tell no it anyway, problem you know so we have a lot Catch all right so i'm just taking you through the process uh what i normally do whenever i do 3d printing um one of the first thing i do is that i look for a website that has the um, files that I need and normally the files are arranged as a STL file um, so I normally go to this um, site called Thingiverse and I'll also place the uh, website link in the description below I would search for my file and today in particular I'm doing an ultrasonic sensor holder and that then gives me the opportunity to download that um, 3D file which I would then send to the software that comes with the printer Several things to keep in mind is that the printer, um, in our case, the XYZ printer, must be registered. Um, therefore, you must enter your email <coughs> data along with um, your reference material so that you can get the printer registered so it starts working. Um, make sure that you have the printer plugged in uh, via USB. In, in, uh, in my case, I had, had it plugged in via USB and i could scan for it it also brings gives you the opportunity to connect to the printer via an ip address 
um, over the network. So I imported my file, uh, which is the ultrasonic sensor holder, comes in two parts. So I'll print one part first, and you notice I'll have to rotate it. So I'll rotate it to a negative 90, actually a negative a 180, um, just to have it face down. Uh, you have to keep in mind the way it is going to be printed. Um, otherwise, I'll have to use supports um, for this printing. It also asks that you specify the type of filament you're using. In our case, we're using ABS. And then I can select print to send it to the printer. Now, as you can see, it's being loaded on to the printer. And so it's building. The printer goes through the phase of building the um, file itself and it's storing it on memory on the printer. So as soon as this is complete, completed with the building, I will then disconnect my laptop from it and the printer will do its thing. All right, so remember I said earlier, that this works kind of like a glue gun that glue gun effect where it prints layer by layer. So what you're seeing is the two print head um, going across. Only one of them is um, sending out filament at a time, um, but it's printing out the pattern layer by layer until it finishes the entire print file. So this will take a while. So let's skip through some of these videos. And again, all the caution is there for the equipment inside is warm. So try not to have your hand placed anywhere while the printer is functioning, right? So do take precautionary measures. So this is what the finished product looks like. I printed both the bottom layer and the upper layer, which is the cover for the ultrasonic sensor. Notice how smooth that is. Um, again, I used PLA for this particular build. Um, and the other type of filament is the ABS filament, right? But this does a pretty good print for this particular project. So here's a look at some of the other stuff I printed today um, as a part of my uh, Raspberry Pi project. Um, just to show you the capabilities of the printer, we can print down to some real miniature gears that we'll use. Um, so it's very, very precise when it comes to printing. The quality is high for this particular printer. I know the old cube printers um, were not as accurate as these, right? And of course, 3D printing is getting better. Things to note is that it takes a while, so do have some patience while the whatever you're doing or whatever project you're working on is printing. Right? This particular print took about two hours and a half, and the rest of the day I just continued um, sending through some prints. I had this printer working hard today simply because I finally got it fixed up. So, final view of things I printed today and tomorrow, 3D printing continues. Alright, so that's it. If you like what you saw in the video, please leave a comment below. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, right? 
Um, if you want to see more videos like these, again, please let me know. Um, I'm working in collaboration with the Raspberry Pi crew. Um, so we're printing all stuff for our Raspberry Pi project at the time. Um, that competition is in two weeks. So you guys get to come along with me. I definitely will do some um, video during that show. Right? So again, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you can see when I upload a new video. And like, like everything else, guys, just go geek yourself.